Hello. Wherever you are, whatever time of day this is that you're taking hold of, may you be blessed. May you be blessed to know the Holy Spirit that's moving in your heart as you lift up prayers to God. May you be blessed to hear God's Holy Word, to hear God's Holy Spirit in your life. I have a reading from, from Henry Nouwen, but also from Romans chapter 9. In that very place, it was said to them that you are not my people. In that place, right there, they will be called children of the living God. This passage, this devotion, it's titled, You Belong to God. At issue here is the question, to whom do I belong? Do I belong to God or to the world? Many of my daily preoccupations suggest that I belong more to the world than to God. A little criticism makes me angry. A little rejection makes me depressed. A little praise raises my spirits. And a little success excites me. It takes very little to raise me up or thrust me down. Often I'm like a small boat in the ocean, completely at mercy of the waves. All the time and energy I spend in keeping some kind of balance, preventing myself from being tipped over and drowning, shows that my life is mostly a struggle for survival. Not a holy struggle, but an ancient, anxious struggle resulting from the mistaken idea that it is the world that defines me. As long as we belong to this world, we will remain subject to its competitive ways and expect to be rewarded for all the good we do. But when we belong to God, who loves us without conditions, we can live as God wills us to live, as God created us to live. The great conversion called for by Jesus is to move from belonging to the world to belonging to God. Will you pray with me? Amazing and gracious God, we belong to you. Help us to live that way. Help us to, to let go of the other things, anything that would hold us and pull us from you. Help us to live as your children. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. God bless you.